So now we got the blower wheel out, blower motor and everything, housing. It's in pretty rough shape. It's only, I think about four years old. So we're gonna do a blower wheel pulling clean. And we're gonna try and kind of get most of this stuff off even though it's really not affecting it. But yeah, it was a doozy getting it out. So you're gonna loosen the nut right here. Then you're gonna loosen these three on the back side. And what I like to do is mark everything. So I'll mark that this one was here. My ground. And then where the wires are kind of pointing towards, I usually just go like that so I know that's where they're going. All right, let's get this pulled apart. So I got the back side of the bolts on, the um, sanding the shaft here, just because it has all that rust buildup, so it can be easily slid out. If not, you're gonna need a polar tool to get the job done, which in this case, I think we will. And this is the special tool you gotta use. I just use a ratchet and socket and press a wrench and tighten it onto there. So as you turn this, it's basically pulling it So off. you can see we've made some progress. So we're gonna put it back on and finish it So off. we're also doing a capacitor. The cool thing about the original ones is they have colors on top. So like your brown wire is fan, so it goes to the fan. Then your herm is blue. Originally, it's just that blue wire, but we have a start kit added onto it too. Um, and then yellow is just yellow for common. So it's just a simple three wires. But yeah, new capacitor, new blower wheel pulling clean, new air scrubber cell, and then evaporator coil clean.